kid politics back again and this one for the fellas man this one for the fellas for the fellas 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 the single fellas or fellas that can have extra women or whatever you got going on these women are beautiful these women are thick these women are fine these women are feminine supposed to be the most feminine women in the world Tanzanian and the Let's most jaded watch. of hearts and listen they are cuddly and warm personalities and when a Tanzanian woman walks down the block the sways from her hips are nothing but heavenly to behold. Two, romantic. Tanzanian women are truly gifted when it comes to bedroom affairs. She derives pleasure from indulging her partner's fantasies, and there will be no boring moments un- Video will be long. This is, shouldn't be this long, but I'm just your girl is in her feelings with just. Did you see Mama and them down at the at the at the, at the situation room? And did you see them doing the moves? Let, let's just take let's just take this back one more time. Let's just. I'm sorry, guys. There's gonna be a lot of taking back, but you know, and then we'll, we'll get to to what this is talking about. I'm just the visuals, the visuals, the visuals. Okay. So so wait wait wait. What was Mama and them doing? Look at Mama and them! Look at Mama and... Did you see all three double-cheeked up in the tribe? Double-cheeked up in the village? Double-cheeked. Double, triple-cheeked. This isn't even double. This is quadruple-cheeked. Quadruple-cheeked. In, in look, look at your boy. Look at your boy. You know what's crazy, y'all? My girl watched this video. I didn't even watch this video. I clicked on it and then I had to do something and she matter of fact I didn't even click on this video this video is the next video that popped up after something else I was watching she ended up watching this video and now I see why she was watching this video <laughs> all this ass all this ass And my girl, and my girl, my girl thick too though, but my girl like girls, so she be like really looking at girls for real, crazy, and pay attention to Melanie y'all, Melanie saying like the words she using, she using words from somebody else we know, like you know how a girl will start using a person words when they start feeling them, I'm just saying. She sound like MTR, you know, saying that situation and stuff. She sound, she using his terminology. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. How was, and even the lady said, is it, the, it has to be genetic. As well as, let's like, talk about the diet. The diet has nothing to do with it. I think it's just genetically, they are shaped like this. Now, I'm not saying some may not have something, you know, done or whatever. But come on, all of them? Every woman I've seen is double cheek, even mama and them, you know, just having a good time in the village. <laughs> Y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. And then, but we're going to finish this segment because I'm going to talk about how they, they are, they want to please their husband sexually and indulge in whatever fantasy he has. Be no boring moments under the sheets. They say girls from this country are so schooled at handling men that Tanzania could easily qualify for a men's paradise if ever there was such a thing. When she reaches adulthood, a series of initiation ceremonies are performed where the Melanie like girls a little bit. I think all girls be infatuated with girls to a certain to a certain degree. She looks women of Tanzania, especially the coastal tribes, are schooled in basic skills to handle men. This usually entails instruction on how to prepare delectable meals. And see, to them is normal. Everybody out there got ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the techniques to use to spice things up in the bedroom, the many kinds of incense to light, how to speak to their husbands tenderly, and strangely, even how to carry him to the bathroom and bathe him. Damn, bitch gonna put me on top of her head. 
they go put me on top of their head, take me to the bathroom, and give me a bath. I'm giving y'all, wait, wait, let's get back. Where was, where's the part where mama was cheeked and dancing? Mama, where you go? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Wait, there she is. Mama was cheeked. Okay. So, what did they say? They are they are taught from a young age how to interact, how to to be, essentially be feminine with a man. So, if, when they're eighteen, they learn, you know. So they're learning young, the cooking, um, taking care of a home. She mentioned to make sure the home is clean and smelling nice, but also keeping things spicy in the bedroom. And then this is the other thing: how to speak to a man tenderly. Her tone, how to interact, how like, wow! I've never even heard of this anywhere. But you know, it's crazy though. Little girls, they start off already talking tenderly. They learn that. They learn. They learn to become less tender as they get older and be around like the wrong people and shit. Or the wrong situations that cause them to lose their tenderness. Because one thing that always made that always make people sympathize for baby girls and just little girls and shit like that is just the fact that they just so Hey, how you doing? You wanna go play uh what you wanna have a tea party? Like they just so you know what I'm saying? It ain't until they turn into this bad bitch, queen, boss bitch, all this other dumb ass shit. Where it's like, nah, bitch, get out of my face. I don't want to talk to you. This is my first time here where a whole culture is, 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 this is how they are. How to speak tenderly to a man. And then, to the point, that carrying him to the bathroom, how you pick a brook, that, that part I don't know, but like, they take Probably care of their men. Almost seems like they pamper them to this high degree. There is a lot to learn as women from this culture and brothers. I'm helping you out. So you can't you can't be mad at me. I'm helping you guys out. I'm helping I'm helping y'all last out too. And the fellas out records on the floor. Conservative, Tanzanian women have a strong sense of national pride. They often enjoy cooking traditional food, listening to African music, and watching football. She will appreciate if you take time to learn about the vibrant Tanzanian culture. These women are still relatively conservative and have not yet been exposed to toxic Western notions of neo-feminism. For this reason, you will find they still retain desirable feminine qualities like submission and respect for their men. <laughs> you better go get your Tanzanian woman. Shit. Boy, you better treat her right, too. You better treat her right. So they haven't been exposed to modern feminism, toxic feminism. So submit. Sound like my baby. Mission is an automatic thing. Let me give you a better visual on the screen because, you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Y'all, y'all see my. Look, she's looking back at me. Uh, and think of your. If, if, you, if you stay within your own group, you know, it becomes an echo chamber and it reinforces. It can reinforce some positive things, but it can also reinforce some very negative traits in us. And we, we talk a lot here in the West about modern women. There's a lot of toxicity between men and women and dating and relationships um, and even in marriage. But there's other cultures, I believe, who have gotten it right or have done it better. Doesn't mean everything they do is right. But if you can expand and open your mind up, you can learn things and really as a woman win in the dating market to... Uh, craziness and it's, it's all right y'all that's basically it for this video them tanzanian women is bad for sure they beautiful women thick 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 better go over there and get you one pregnant or something but make sure you treat her right though 
don't just do it wrong. I always stress treating girls right because, yeah, you wouldn't want nobody to treat your ass wrong. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, man, it's Tear Politics. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Hey, all that good shit, man. We out.